Hey guys, it's Josh here and welcome back to another speed build. So today's build is a shipping container house. I was actually going to try and build something in preparation for Realm of Magic, but I still haven't gone to that yet because I actually did try to build a simple house that would suit Glimmerbrook or even a simple like magical oriented house which would have lots of clutter and stuff, but I just couldn't feel inspired to do that. Like I did try and I just... I think I tried like three houses and they all just like flopped so I just gave up in the end. I feel like once the pack comes out, I'll be able to use all the new objects and get super inspired to build a magical themed house but until then, I just couldn't like get into like the zone while trying to build one. So here we are with a modern themed eco-friendly shipping container house which honestly wouldn't do too bad in Glimmerbrook either because Glimmerbrook from the screenshots looks to be very very one with nature and I feel like a simple ecologically friendly house like this may do fairly well especially since it's made of recycled materials with the shipping containers so it doesn't seem so crazy that maybe some person would have gotten two shipping containers delivered or something I've got no clue. I do spend some time at the start just trying to find a nice orientation for the shipping containers because I thought, hey, it's a little bit small, so maybe I should add in like a second row of them or a second column. And it just kind of made the house look a bit too big and a bit too strange as well. And I just couldn't find a really nice way to separate the shipping containers from the outside because they kind of just blend in together especially with the walls and I was going to try and like checkerboard the corrugated wall paneling which didn't really look that great either and I just went back to what we had originally where there was just two stacked on top of each other. Maybe you can't really see it right now but the second floor has a pretty large overlook to the first floor which I think looks pretty cool and upstairs is where the one bedroom goes and the bathroom and then downstairs is just where the kitchen living and dining area is, which is kind of all connected as one big, or one long room rather. And also this build was actually a really nice place to continue using more of the windows that came with the Moschino stuff pack, which was a lot of fun. Like honestly, I love these Moschino windows so much. I was going to try and use that low hanging light that came with the pack as well, but it was kind of a bit too short and didn't really reach down to the second of oh, the first floor rather so I ended up just using the ones from fitness day and I th well at least I think they're from fitness day and I use a lot of objects that came with the fitness stuff pack because they look pretty nice here actually did I I don't remember but the house the house's overall color scheme is black white and lime green which is something I don't often well, a color scheme I don't often build with but I think it turned out pretty nice, like I don't think I've ever even used these counters before for a house because I've, I've always felt that they were way too like, I don't know how to explain it, but it just looked really luxury for the kinds of builds I'm normally building. Here comes the lime green and, but at this point I kind of decided that the green chairs were a bit too much so I do kind of add black chairs as well because I think a fully green room is kind of a bit hard to look at so. I did try and add a bit more black and white as well just to kind of lessen the green because it was a bit too much. Then more green will end up going into each of the rooms when I add in all the plants as well because after all this is a eco-friendly house so there is a lot of plants inside and there is a lot of plants outside. There's even like a green roof that goes in so the entire top floor ceiling or the top floor, top floor roof is entirely grass or entirely plants and I just thought of something right now while doing this voiceover oh my god why didn't I do this but I should have added in like a skylight like with the little window thing from Island Living I should have done that I don't know why I didn't think of that I might actually do that now <laughs> but anyway we are working on the bedroom now and I think I just entirely spoke over actually not really because there hasn't been much furniture placed down but we're just placing them the basic furniture now i guess and i completely skipped over it. i was just kind of talking about the kitchen and just stopped talking about everything else but we are in the bedroom now and it's kind of a bit squashed but this is an eco-friendly home it's not meant to be like super massive or anything 
It's just a simple house with a very small ecological footprint because it is using recycled materials with the shipping container, so a lot of resources were probably saved doing that. And also, I did end up using some of the new wallpaper from the Moschino stuff pack as well, which I thought looked pretty cool. When I built the warehouse that I built with the pack when the pack first came out, I actually forgot that there was new wallpapers, so I didn't even use it. But for this one, I did try and use it. Even I, I just used it as a simple splash pack because I couldn't really find a nice place to use it anywhere else. Anyway, we're doing a little bit of the outside stuff now. And one thing about this build, speed build is that I do the basic furnishing inside and then I go outside and pretty much finish off the exterior before going back inside to do the final like cluttering up of the house because in, I just got so many ideas while building outside and I just kind of like forgot about the inside until I finished the outside so I think we're actually going to be staying outside now for the time being and I had so much fun with the exterior because as you can see I'm kind of going crazy with plants and soon the entire top floor roof will be entirely plants as well. I was going to like use only the grass from Island Living but it kind of looked a bit repetitive because it's just a tile repeated over and over again. So I decided to just use some of like the other shrubs and plants instead because it's a lot more easier to be dynamic with them. And as you can see, it's already looking a lot better than having just Solani grass everywhere. And there's a lot more color as well. And downstairs, well, the ground level outdoor area becomes quite, it's, it's not, it just becomes mainly plants. There is a fire pit outside as well, and I kind of ended up playing around with this strange idea of having those, like, wire fences with vines growing up them. Like, I didn't know how to think about it, but I feel like it was just kind of like an art piece, if you ask me. Like, an artist's impression or something. Like, as you can see, that's what I'm talking about right now, and it looks okay. It becomes like the main feature of the outside area because you can see it from the front, you can see it from the fire pit. And we're working on the bathroom now because I forgot that I didn't even do the bathroom. So we're just placing some furniture down and then we go back outside again and finishing up the clutter. And one thing about the outside area is I was considering moving this lot to a smaller, or well, this house to a small lot and continuing it there, but I decided not to and I just kind of put a lot of trees down and I have a lot of debug items at the back of the house. We are working on the fire pit area now almost and we'll just play as you can see as well as I said there's a lot of plants that go down and that's not even the half of it yet like there's still plants that have to go at the front of the house, the back of the house, the other side of the house and to the corners of the back the, to the back corners of the lot as well. And I was going to try and place some um, gardening area. I was going to try and build a gardening area, but I decided not to in the end. But the fire pit is here, and I was going to put a fence around it, but that was a bit too out of place for me. Like, it's really modern. Although the house is modern, like, it's kind of a bit too modern and too, like... I don't know how to explain it, but it's kind of a bit too sleek, if you ask me. Because this is an eco-friendly home, and... I'm going to assume that most things that were used to build this house were recycled materials, apart from like the most of the furniture, so it kind of looked really out of place to have this really flashy, modern fence out of nowhere when everything else is like corrugated. But anyway, as you can see right now, I'm placing that fence I was talking about now, and honestly, I really love that gate. I wish we had a functional version of it, but it looked so good, so I just kind of had to use it and... It's just maybe re remnants of the previous old house that may have been on this lot before something happened and it was replaced with the shipping container. Who knows? I honestly see this house being built in Glimmerbrook because it's off the grid. Well, it could potentially be off the grid. It's eco-friendly and Glimmerbrook, from the screenshots that we've seen so far, looks to be perfect for off the grid homes and I can't wait to build like an actual proper off the grid home, like the maybe some sort of old tiny little house or something maybe as an off, off the grid home, who knows, I'll have to think about that. But I'm sure once the pack comes out, 
I'll finally be inspired to finish a like magic themed house as well because I was going to try and build their simple magic cottage but I just couldn't get into the zone so that's why I ended up building this modern shipping container because it was the next best thing I could think of that may or may not fit inside Glimmerbrook. But anyway, I think that's basically all there is to it. So as you can see right now, we're just like furnishing the interior now properly with clutter and stuff. And after that, I think we're basically done. So I think you just, I'll just leave you guys off here. There will be screenshots at the end of this speed buzzer. If you're interested in those, definitely stay tuned. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Oh, and this build will most likely be uploaded on the gallery as converted shipping container. There will be a link to that in the description below. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.